Well, as we approach this very special holiday weekend, mm -hmm. cities and towns all across New Mexico have been banning the private use of fireworks. And, you know, this 4th of July, we want to remind everybody that just because you can't see the fireworks doesn't mean that you can't have a really good time. And that is why we are so happy to talk about the Freedom Fourth celebration and Ryan Powell and Eric Werner who I just love you guys I'm so happy you're back because mm -hmm. we have done so many fun events even together this summer and it's just going to continue this weekend and they're here to tell us about the annual patriotic and free I said free mm. celebration. Welcome, both of you. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. Thank Hi. you. Didn't we have fun with the drifters? That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Wow, yeah. they were good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were. See, mm -hmm. Summerfest so far has been spectacular, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the fun just goes on and, and it's on. Just gonna it's just going to keep on coming. Right? Yeah. 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 There's more to come. Well, so, well, tell we, us more about the event. I mean, we can't. There's that ban on fireworks, but yes. you guys are going to be able to uh, shoot off some fireworks. Mm -hmm. So a good excuse for people to come see them, and you're taking precautions too, right? We are. We work very closely with our friends at the Albuquerque Fire Department. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. They are staged on the field. They're staged behind the scenes with the fireworks. They're going to keep us very safe this year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and, and it's a whole series. The fire marshal has been involved from the very beginning. There's been months of planning that go okay. into this. And, okay. and there's constant contact from, uh, or, uh, I'm sorry, constant communication from during the show, before the show, and after the show. And, Good. you know, if the fire marshal says stop or pause or, or, or don't start, you know, it's, it's, all, it's all up to them. And we have pumper trucks there on standby, and, and we, are, we are fully prepared. See, that's so Good. nice to know, because with the state of emergency that we're in, to know that you're taking all these precautions definitely mm -hmm. puts a lot of people at ease mm -hmm. and still lets them know that they're going to have quite the entertaining time. Absolutely. <laughs> yes. Yeah, what's the lineup? Oh, well, we, we got a great lineup. Um, the headliner right before the fireworks is going to be Casey James, um, I love him. season nine American Idol <laughs> finalist. I love He's great. Him. Uh, but opening up the day, the entertainment starts at four o'clock, and we're going to have uh, the James Douglas show is going to be out there. I'm not sure love if you're familiar with that. Too. Great. Cadillac Bob and the Rhinestones is going to be out there, a band so called cool. Mr. Black. Um, a young mm -hmm. up and coming country singer named Jayla Danielle is going to be out there. She's going to be really good. That's a good lineup. Yeah, yeah and then we also a have a, a, a youth stage sponsor by Warehouse 508. So I love it. Well, there's like a little something for everybody oh, yeah. and right, even yeah. just music wise alone. Mm -hmm. And and yes, as you said, Casey James, I, I mean, I was a big fan. If you don't remember <laughs> and you're a big fan of Idol, he was the one who in the finale last season sang Every Rose Has a Thorn with Brett Michaels. Oh, showstopper. <laughs> <laughs> love you, Casey James. Yeah. But yeah. There, yeah, so lots of fun for everybody. What about the kids? Absolutely. What do you have to go so many great kids activities. Mm -hmm. We are going to have a very important kids area. Really? So which when you walk into the park, you'll see like mm -hmm. a giant inflatable slide. Nice. And so that's going to mark the kids' area. There's going to be lots of obstacle courses that the kids can go through. Um, there's going to be Mondo boxing, you know, they get to put mm -hmm. on a big inflatable oh, boxing fun. gloves. That's oh, awesome. Yeah, and there's going to be free face painting, um, mm -hmm. balloon twisting. There's going to be some um, special surprise appearances by some costume characters. Really? So fun for kids of all ages. I love to hear yeah. that. And what time do the gates actually open? Uh, the gates open at 3 o'clock okay. um, to sort of get everybody in there, mm -hmm. and then the entertainment actually starts at 4. So cool. it's a full day of fun. Oh, yeah. It is. Right into the night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and now going back to the fireworks, just out of curiosity, is there any is there a possibility that you might, may not be able to set off fireworks, or have you guys pretty much had the go-ahead to do it? Uh, well, uh, in all honesty, there's always the possibility, right. and, and, it, and it just depends completely on the conditions. Even sure. even right. last year, mm -hmm. um, we, we right after the headliner, right before the fireworks started, the fire marshal wanted to pause because he wasn't happy with the wind. So, right. I mean, we, we have all the precautions and go-ahead in place, okay, but it, it just depending on the conditions. Okay. I mean, well, the wind should absolutely. be better, so hopefully okay. it's, it's looking good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. that's what she's talking about. Yeah. The wind is probably one of the biggest mm -hmm. things that could happen. It could always is. Up, so. It always is with the, with the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can still, it, whatever happens, it is it's really overall. It's a great event and it's a great thing to plan for for your entire family. Mm -hmm. Fireworks Absolutely. on the stage. And, yeah. and you guys are offering <laughs> like a park and ride too. Yes. Yes. That's, oh, that's, that's a very great helpful. bonus. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's park and ride this year. Um, it's $1 round trip for adults. That's children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, isn't that's that great? great. So yes. literally, mm -hmm. admission to the event is free. So you could come to the event, um, pay $1 round trip for a park and ride, and it could cost you, you know, 
very little money. Yes. Um, children nine and under are free. Mm -hmm. You know, as Eric said, um, gates open at 3 p.m. and the event begins at 4 p.m. It ends at 10 p.m. Okay. Yeah. And if you do want to park on site, we just want to mention it's uh -huh. only $10. It's not, okay. it's really not right. an extraordinary, right. unaffordable oh, no. situation. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, a very affordable day to have a really good time. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. From, from afternoon straight through That's the evening. That's the idea. Yeah. I love yeah. it. And, and the weather overall should be pretty nice, right? It should be pretty good. Okay. Yeah. The temperature's coming down a little bit. All right. Slight chance of storm in the afternoon, but you know, we've had that all week and right. we haven't gotten anything yet. Yeah. So right. I think we're going to be okay. <laughs> and right. I also want to mention, because you know, at the last Summer Fest, we were talking about a lot of the other events that mm -hmm. are still coming up. Mm -hmm. There are so many things on the agenda for the city. Can you tell us about some of the other things we have to look forward to the rest of the summer? Sure. Absolutely. Well, we do have a couple of Albuquerque concert band performances. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, we have another Summer Fest coming up. Do you want to tell them about that? Uh, yeah, we have a, uh, on July 23rd, we have the Knob Hill Summer yes. Fest, which mm -hmm. is uh, turning into our biggest summer fest ever. Um, uh -huh. We're closing down Central from Girard all the way to Washington. Multiple stages, uh, mm -hmm. food vendors, arts and crafts vendors, um, you name it out there. We had about 20,000 people out there last year. Yeah, I was there oh, last year. Yeah, that was yeah. my first event, I think. <laughs> really? I'm coming on a year being here this right, weekend, right. actually, and that was my first event, and it was a great time. It's yeah. going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. And I, I bet it's going to get even bigger this year, just because, mm -hmm. I mean, the last couple have been bigger than before, too. Oh, yeah. So it's been, it's been a great turnout. I hope it continues to be that way, because it's a wonderful yeah. thing to have free events exactly. and still support your city mm -hmm. by being a part of the community and, and enjoying yourself. Thank you both yeah, thank so much, so as much. always, yeah. Eric and Ryan. Have a safe and happy July 4th to both of you. You too. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you so thank much. You. Okay, now, not every single person loves the 4th of July. Coming up next, we'll tell you how to keep your pet stress-free over this noisy holiday weekend. Oh.